Supriya Konda, working as an assistant professor in civil department from Walton Institute of Technology, Solapur. So today's class, we are going to discuss on the calculation of the included angles from the quadrantal bearings. So these are the learning outcomes. At the end of this session, students will be able to impart the knowledge of how to calculate the included angle of the bearings. So bearing is nothing but the angle of a survey line. Angle of a survey line with respect to the any specified point. So it is nothing but the horizontal angle which that line makes with the reference point. So in the bearing we have the fore bearing and the back bearing. So fore bearing is nothing but the bearings which are measured in the forward direction. And the back bearing is nothing but the bearings which are measured in the backward direction. So regarding the quadrantal bearing if you come. So the bearings are always measured with respect to north or south. So let's see. This is north, south, east and west. So wherever the bearings may be or where, wherever the survey lines may be, the bearings are always to be measured with respect to north or south. Suppose these are the survey lines that is O, P, O, Q, R and S. So the angle will be with respect to north that is a survey line OP it makes an angle of north 40 degrees towards the east. So in that case the survey line has to be drawn in the first quadrant. If suppose the angle is given to you as north 40 degrees towards the west so here it should be given. That is what the line, survey line OS will be drawn if the angle is given to you as north 40 degrees west. So next if the bearing is given to you as south 60 degrees east. So it should be with respect to south 60 degrees. So this is the bearing of the line OQ. So next if the bearing of the line OR is given to you as south 40 degrees west that means from the south towards the west side it makes an angle of 40 degrees. This is how the bearing of the lines will be drawn in the quadrantal. That is always in the quadrantal bearing the bearings or the angles will be specified either with respect to north or with respect to south. So let us see we have the lines over here. These are the lines, these are the bearings given, that is the fore bearing and the back bearing. So from this we are going to draw the traverse. So let's see now you have the lines. Let us see how many stations are there over there. So this is A point, B point, C, D and E. So total stations are 5 numbers. Got so let us see where to take the station, uh, station A. So the fore bearing of the station A is given to you as south 45 degrees towards east. That is south east. That means below somewhere you will be getting. And the back bearing of A. This is the back bearing that is EA. North east towards east. So let us see we will fix the point A over here. So this is my point A. South East that is it is making an angle of 45 degrees. So next you get a point B. So this is the point B. So the back bearing of this is north, north 40 degrees east. 
so let's say this is the back bearing over here not 40 degrees so you are getting the point e a north south east and west so now you got the point e this is the point e so after b four bearing that is next to the point c you are going to go north east it is north east 60 degrees north 60 degrees it is so you are going to get a point c over here this is north south east and west so next what about the back bearing of this b station it is north west that is here it is it is 44 degrees 30 minutes so next from C you are going to plot the D point it is north east so let's say it will be somewhere here north C to D north east it is 6 degrees okay It is 6 degrees northeast. So the back bearing of this south 61 degrees west. So next you got the point D. So from D to E, this is the four bearing. So D E it is north 63 degrees 40 minutes. So from here you are going to plot over here okay what will be the ea that is the back bearing of this so if we observe from e the forward bearing is south 40 degrees so this is the south 40 degrees so what about the back bearing over here south 65 degrees east so here it comes so d a, it is northwest. Somewhere here it will be. Okay. So now we have seen from D. So the D four bearing, if you see, it is north. 63 degrees from north 63 degrees it is 63 degrees 40 minutes so the back bearing of this is cd it is 63 south 5 degrees west it is towards west so it will be 5 degrees 50 minutes so next e a from EA the forward bearing and back bearing is south 65 degrees this is what the back bearing is so from A to B you are going to go in this way this is the forward bearing from B to C this is the forward bearing over there C to D forward bearing next from E to A forward bearing so next A curve is back bearing will be A back bearing it is called as so you might have observed over here that each survey line will have a forward bearing and a back bearing so this is a traverse finally we have closed the traverse it is always closed one so you are going to find the angle a angle b angle c angle d and angle e 
सो दीज आर नथिंग बट द इंक्लूडेड एंगल समेशन ऑफ ऑल दिस विल गिव यू द एंगल ओवर य So from referring the four bearing and the back bearing, you are going to find out the angles over here. So let's see angle A. You have got the angle forty five degrees and forty five degrees. So how will you find this? So let's say overall this will be the angle as one eighty degrees. So from one eighty degrees, if you subtract forty degrees and forty five degrees, so you get the angle. A. So let's see, one eighty degrees minus of forty degrees minus of forty five degrees. So it is ninety five degrees. This is angle A. So angle B, if you see, so it will be addition of these angles. That is. Forty-four degrees thirty minutes plus sixty degrees. It will be forty-four degrees thirty minutes plus sixty degrees. So it is one zero four degrees thirty minutes. So next angle C. Angle C, you can uh, see over here how to calculate angle C over here. This is one eighty. If you see, this is six degrees over here. So overall, this will be three sixty. So instead of that, you can have a six degrees angle is given to you. So from this ninety degrees you have. From ninety degrees, if you subtract this one, okay, best way is one eighty degrees. One eighty degrees plus this. Minus of this, so from one eighty degrees plus you are going to do six degrees, and then minus it, minus sixty one degrees. So let's see one eighty degrees plus six degrees minus of sixty one degrees. So it is one twenty five degrees zero minutes. It's a simple calculation. Over here, you had one eighty degrees. So from one eighty degrees, I uh, subtracted sixty one degrees and then added six degrees. So next one for angle D. For angle D, one eighty degrees minus of five degrees and minus of this, you get the remaining angle over here. So it is one eighty degrees. Minus of five degrees, minus of sixty-three degrees, forty minutes. So remaining is the angle D, one eighty degrees, minus of five degrees, minus of sixty-three degrees, forty minutes. So it is hundred and eleven degrees, twenty minutes. So finally, angle E, angle E will be the addition of forty degrees, zero minutes. Plus sixty-five degrees zero minutes, so it is hundred and five degrees zero minutes. So the summation included angle works out to be ninety-five degrees, ninety-five degrees plus one zero four degrees. Thirty minutes plus one twenty-five degrees plus one 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 degrees twenty minutes plus one zero five degrees. So it works out to be five forty degrees fifty minutes. So this is how the included angle can be calculated in case of a quadrantal bearing. Hope so. You have understood this. These are the MCQs. Try to solve it. The bearings of the angles are given, of the lines are given to you. So you are going to find out the included angle. These are the references. Thank you.